This is a revision video for AQA GCSE Physics or Combined Science, looking at the features of the domestic electricity supply in your home. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the UK domestic supply in terms of both its frequency and its potential difference. You should be able to describe the structure of a three core cable and a standard three pin plug, and describe the functions of the live wire, the neutral wire and the earth wire. Current is the flow of charged particles. And there are two types of current. In a direct current system, the current always flows in one direction, so the electrons are always going the same way. In an alternating current system, the direction of the electrons regularly reverses. The domestic supply of electricity in the UK, in other words, the main supply that comes to your house, is an alternating current system. This helps to maintain power, and it also makes it easier to change the potential difference using a transformer. The domestic supply in the UK has a frequency of 50 Hertz. In other words, it changes direction 50 times a second. It also has a potential difference of around 230 volts. The majority of British appliances are connected to the main supply using a standard three pin plug, and you need to be able to identify some key features of these. The outside casing of the plug is made of rigid plastic, and this is because plastic is an electrical insulator. Inside the plug there is a fuse, and this is connected to the live wire. The point of the fuse is that it contains a very, very thin wire that will melt if too high of a current flows, and this helps to protect you in the event of an electrical surge. Standard British fuses tend to be 3 amps or 13 amps. The cable coming into the plug is what we call a three-core cable, and it's made up of three individual wires with different functions that we'll look at in a second. The wiring inside these cables is made of copper, because copper is a very good electrical conductor, and of course it's also very flexible and very ductile, so it's good for making wires. The different plastic casings on the wires make it very easy for an electrician to know which wire is which. You need to know the locations, colours and functions of the three wires in the three core cable. These are called the live wire, the neutral wire and the earth wire. Firstly, the live wire. This is on the bottom right of the plug, so if you remember BR for bottom right and BR for brown. The live wire carries the alternating potential difference from the supply. You can think of it as how the electricity gets into the appliance. The neutral wire is on the bottom left, so BL for bottom left and BL for blue, and it completes the circuit. The earth wire is the green yellow stripy one in the middle, and it's a safety wire that stops the appliance from becoming live. This is particularly important if you have an appliance with a metal casing. If the live wire were to become detached and it touched that metal casing, then the entire casing could become electrified, and it would be possible for you to become electrocuted if you touched it. The earth wire provides a low resistance path to the ground, and there's normally no current flowing through it. So ordinarily, the potential difference between the live and the neutral wire should be around 230 volts, and also the potential difference between the live and the earth wire should be 230 volts, unless there's a fault in the circuit. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. If you did, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCSE physics videos coming soon.